Hey everyone, this is Rochelle with Creativity Tribe. Welcome to my art studio. I'm here tonight. I've been thinking a lot and spending a lot of time in my studio, and I think it's because I've been so inspired by the Paint Mojo Texas art retreat that I did with Tracy Verdugo and Sayla Gay. What a fabulous team! <laughs> Um, I walked away from this retreat feeling renewed, feeling inspired, and literally having so much going on in my mind and my spirit about what art meant in a sort of new way that I was dreaming about the art techniques that we learned from Tracy. Uh, probably maybe three times this week I've dreamed that. So it's been really has made a very strong impact on my life not just my art but um, a lot of a lot of what I do in life and let me talk a little bit about that because I think it might sound a little strange that or maybe it doesn't to you that doing art could affect how you live your life well part of the process of what Tracy has you do is you create this wonderful art that has a lot of meaning and you kind of fall in love with the piece as you're going along. And it certainly is a struggle sometimes because she might set out sort of a, a task for you to do. And it's a stretch. So you do the stretch and you get all nice and cozy and comfortable where you're at. And then she gives you a new task which kind of wipes out or at least alters in a very big way the task that you were originally given and the art that you had made that you fell in love with. So then you have to find a new way to fall in love with this new piece that you have, which is really the same piece that you've been working on all along, one piece. And then you say, well, wow, well, that turned out pretty cool. So you fall in love with that part of the piece, that phase of the piece, I should say. And then she provides a new task for you to do to that same piece. And you go, oh, but I was so in love with that piece. And so you have to, well, you can choose not to, but if you're, you know, there for the journey, you dive in and you do the task that she has given you. And it hurts <laughs> a little bit to destroy that image that you had fallen in love with and you were getting attached to. So then you kind of get unattached because you're just having to go through the process. And then you fall in love with what comes out of that task that she's given you. And you do this a couple of times, several times, until you get to the final task that she has laid before you. And the image that you have on your canvas is very, very different than the images that you started off with. But there's a story that, that rests beneath that image, that final image that only you really know and understand. And when the image is up on the wall and it's all, you know, nice and clear coated and all finished, you look at that and it's a journey for you. And in that journey, you've learned things about yourself. You've learned things about art. You've learned things really about life because isn't that really what life does to us? It gives us a day. We fall in love with that day or even a moment. We fall in love with that moment. And something happens, you know, because life is organic and life is ever changing and evolving. Life is a journey and a process. So we fall in love with that moment and we say to ourselves, oh, I love this day. And then we have to go to sleep and the next day wakes up and we have to do whatever task is in front of us, like go to work or pay the bills or you know, confront someone about something or drive on the freeway where other people, you can't control what things are going to happen on the freeway. And so doing this art with Tracy really had me thinking about life a lot this week. Uh, one of the things that I've decided is that I have a, a really beautiful, wonderful house that I love. And as you can tell by looking behind me, I have a lot of stuff in my house. It, there are things that inspire me. There are stories that go along with them, images and symbols that I really dig and that seem to reflect something about myself. But I've been thinking, what if I treated my house like I treated the paintings that I did with Tracy this week? What if I went take away, cover up, share, 
what's there that isn't essential? What would it be like to have a home or a studio um, that lived from that perspective? What would it be like if I did that with, uh, say, the clothes that I owned or uh, the art that I hold on to, the scrapbooks and things like that? What would it be like to sort of weed out what isn't essential and really get down to the bones of my life? Would I step back from the wall of the masterpiece, you know, when I hang my life up on the wall, could I step back and say, oh my gosh, I did a lot of stretching and I did a lot of growing in the process and I had no idea that what I started off with could look like this, but I really love it and I'm really glad I stretched and I'm really glad that I grew. So that's kind of how my mind works, you know? That's what art is to me. It's really a metaphor for living. And so going to a retreat called Paint Mojo, yeah, I got my mojo going these days at home too in my life and with my dreams. So I want to say thank you to Tracy Verdugo. Thank you so much. You are such a bright, shining star. And um, I really appreciate everything that you gave and everything that you shared with us on the retreat your class act. And for Sayla Gay, you, you know, you're special to me. So thank you so much for stepping out and risking your uh, self to build your dream so that we could, those of us that went, could have such a phenomenal time. And to my Mojo sisters, what a fabulous weekend. Um, you've really touched my life. And from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate the time and the the love that you gave this weekend. So that's me, Rochelle Payne from the studio at Creativity Tribe, making my life a work of art and hoping to inspire you to do the same. Stop back by soon and um, I'll be here waiting for you. Take care.